this internal version, of the Interface 1 BIS, for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K, is mounted, inside a DKtronics keyboard case. The memory and disk controller, is connected directly to the processor socket, through a wedge cable, and also to the peripheral module. After power up, the interface needs to be enabled. The catalog of RAM drive number 1 is displayed, and a test program for the Kempston joystick is loaded. The mouse is disabled while using the joystick. Alternatively, the mouse can also be configured at peripheral module level to act as a Kempston joystick by pressing the left button when disabled. A test program for the Kempston mouse is loaded. The mouse is first disabled as a joystick, by pressing both buttons simultaneously, and then enabled a Kempston mouse, by pressing the right button. By default, the mouse coordinates, are contained within a window, 256 pixels wide and 176 pixels high, which is in principle, not inconsistent with the behavior of the original Kempston mouse. The mouse window size can be altered, by sending command strings to the peripheral module, using the statement cat0. The width, of the mouse window has now been reduced to 100 pixels. Besides this windowed mode the mouse can also be configured to function in legacy mode. In legacy mode the coordinate values wrap around from 255 to 0, and vice versa. The interface is connected to one of the PC's USB ports. The PC identifies the new connection as a USB communication port, with a name as reported by the interface. The server console application is started on the PC, this event is detected by the peripheral module's firmware. The catalog of the server drive is produced. Names up to 10 characters, excluding extensions, are displayed as such, while longer ones are abbreviated in 8.3 format. The current directory is changed to one of the subdirectories, and its content is catalogued. A tape file is assigned as an input tape, and the first program is loaded. The input device selected for this game is the mouse in Kempston joystick mode. A micro SD card is inserted in the interface's slot, 
and is automatically identified by the peripheral module's firmware. The size of the flash drive volume is displayed. The catalog shows that drive 20 of the flash volume A is empty. The content of the current server drive directory, consisting of eight games, is copied to the flash drive volume A into the root directory of drive 20. The transfer of about 300 kilobytes takes 11 seconds. Displaying the catalog of the destination confirms that the copy operation was successful. A tape file is assigned as an input tape, and the first program is loaded. The input device selected for this game is the Kempston mouse. In order to produce a snapshot, a destination file is assigned on RAM Drive 2. A tape file is assigned as an input tape, and the first program is loaded. The input device selected for this game is the mouse in Kempston joystick mode. triggering a non-maskable interrupt. Saves the snapshot to the assigned file. The snapshot file is loaded, and the game continues from the point at which the non-maskable interrupt occurred. The option bin allows a memory block, at a given address, and of a given length, to be read, written or verified, to or from, a specified position in a file. This picture will be used for demonstrating random file access. A test program is loaded to demonstrate the use of option bin, with load and save statements. The first third of the bitmap is loaded into the second third of the screen memory, followed by the corresponding attributes. This is now saved to a new file, starting at record number 4. Loading the resulted file shows that its first two kilobytes contain random data, which pre-existed on the storage media. A test program is loaded to demonstrate the use of file handles. A handle is opened to the picture file, and the file pointer is moved at record number 4, to load the second third of the bitmap, followed by the corresponding attributes. 
the file associated with the handle is deleted, and the new screen is saved under its name. A test program is loaded to demonstrate the use of stream pointers. A stream is opened to a new text file on the server drive, and a very long catalog is directed to that stream. When done, the stream is closed and reopened to read the resulted file, 10 records at a time. The pointer associated with the stream is moved towards the end of the file, so that the last records can be read.